this was not the life she signed up for. I'm in an environment where every kid has a story. Every student has a reason for being with us. And you look at the, your wide breadth of students who may have been, you know, homeless or they may have had something else happen. It's a moment. It's an instant. And we're talking about a lifetime of this. She is only 17 years old, but Michelle Broski has suffered a lifetime of pain. One thing after the other. It started when she was eight. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and celiac. So from that point, I mean, I had to learn to advocate for myself. And then there was seventh grade when Michelle found herself the victim of intense bullying from former friends. It's like you wake up in the morning, your house is TP'd. You wake up in the morning, they've created another social media account to harass you with. I would sweat profusely, even in the dead of winter. I was shaky. I was paranoid. Like, I never felt safe. Michelle transferred to Walnutwood High, an independent study school for students with unique circumstances. We're just like a comprehensive high school. We just deliver it in a different way. We left the teacherhood a long time ago. We're more case managers. We're more counselors and teachers um, trying to help them. And Michelle would need that help when doctors discovered two ovarian cysts that required emergency surgery. The stress and the trauma of all the, the surgery and all that stuff, is it's that, that was easy enough to get over. It was, it was really hard in the middle of it. I fell into a really bad depression. But no one could prepare Michelle for the hell she would face her junior year at a local internship, where a supervisor preyed on her. Even now, the memories still linger. I always land on my feet one way or another, even when it gets hard, but already having dealt with such like hard things already, I'm not too afraid. <laughs> like, what else is there to throw at me? She's kind of a three-pronged person. And we have to realize that this is, this this trauma has fractured her. And that fracture has created its own little separate little personalities depending on where she is in that day. It would have been easy for Michelle Broski to shut herself out from the rest of the world. So very easy. But that's not Michelle. So she did something else. She threw herself into academics. I always loved school. And so I always had, you know, like big dreams and stuff like that. She took her first college course at 15. Today, she's six credits shy of an associate's degree. Something once unthinkable, now a reality for the young woman who took everything life threw at her and fought back. I've learned I'm really strong, learned I can overcome things. I've learned that I can achieve goals I never would even think of having or think of setting or think of even be possible. It just makes me excited for the future.